Hello everyone. Let us recall Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras says that in a right angled triangle, the square of length of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of lengths of the other two sides. That is, if we have a triangle ABC, right angled at P, then the square of hypotenuse, that is AC square, is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, do you think that the converse of Pythagoras would also be true? Let us look into it. The converse of Pythagoras theorem says that in a triangle, if the square of length of one side is equal to the sum of squares of lengths of the other two sides, that is, if we have a triangle such that the square of length of one side, square of AC, is equal to sum of square of AB and square of BC. Then the angle opposite the first side, angle opposite to this side, that is B. Then it says that B is a right angle and this triangle is a right angle triangle. So what is given to us is a triangle ABC where AC square is equal to sum of AB square and BC square. And what we need to prove now is that angle B is 90 degree. Let us start by constructing a triangle PQR such that it is right angled at Q and PQ is equal to AB and this QR is equal to BC. So let's say if AB was 5 and BC was 4. So we are constructing PQ which is 5, QR which is 4 and we are placing them at a 90 degree angle. These two are perpendicular to each other. We are constructing a triangle PQR in such a way. Okay. Now, let us start with the proof. If we have constructed a triangle PQR given uh, these instructions, then in PQR by Pythagoras theorem, since Q is 90 degree, PR square will be equal to PQ square plus QR square. This is the hypotenuse here, PR. So, by Pythagoras, we will get this. Also, now PR square will be equal to AB square plus BC square. Why is that? Because AB is equal to PQ by construction. We have constructed PQ to be equal to AB. Similarly, we have constructed QR to be equal to BC. So, we have just substituted the values here. Okay. Also, it is given that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, let's write this. Now, if you look at these two equations, the RHS is equal in both of these. So, that gives us PR square is equal to AC square. That means PR is equal to AC. So, we have established this that PR is also equal to AC. Now, if we look at these two triangles, the blue one and the pink one, We'll see that AB is already equal to PQ by construction. BC is equal to QR again by construction. And AC is equal to PR. We just proved it. So, these two triangles are actually congruent by SSS congruency. Right. Which gives us that angle B is equal to angle Q by CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But we know that angle Q is 90 degree. We constructed it like that, right? So, which gives us angle B is also 90 degree. And that is what we wanted to prove. So, we see that if the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of other two sides, then by converse, we get that angle B is, that is the angle which is opposite to the hypotenuse, is indeed 90 degrees.